Hello, welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. Uh, Jesse Draves here. I'm going to show you guys how to change a string and cable on a Z7. Uh, most of their bows are very similar, not all of them. If you don't feel comfortable about doing this, don't do it, but it's very simply done. Uh, basically, you can do it almost all by yourself. You do need somebody to help you. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change the cable just because it's easiest. And I'm going to pull on this cable really hard and you'll see a hole come up right here you got your allen wrench set boom we drop it in our cables loose there's not a lot of tools we're going to need basically an allen wrench set uh, a tape measure to check axle to axle link with all those specs would be on our website of all the matthews bows and uh you can check axle to axle and brace height although i don't have this thing cranked down so you have to check them at at totally cranked down so we're going to pull the cable off and also, um, if you need to change your peep side or put a rotation in it, this is the way to do it as well. I personally like doing this better than typically using a bow press because it puts the bow under a lot less stress. You got a less, less chance of bending a riser. If you don't have a bow press, you don't, you know, I got bow presses, it, it's one or the other, but this is pretty simple. So. Uh, the Z7, X, Z7, Z7 Extreme, whatever. Uh, we're going to hook the split yokes. Now, I will have to go back and adjust these once I get the bow done and square this eyelid wheel up, put some twists in it right and left to square it up. So, the cable always goes to the inside uh, on the roller, and uh, the cable will also wrap around the underside. So, both strings come over top, the cable goes underneath and you may take a ink pen or something to poke that little cap just uh, poke that over the post in there there's a post in there that says C for cable okay cables on we're gonna pull this down it's important that that wrench or your screwdriver or whatever goes all the way through on both sides it's not just on one side that's very important if you do it you mess it up you're on your own if you don't feel comfortable about it then don't do it okay I'm gonna have Eric assist me here real quick but you could have about anybody assist you uh, Eric just pulled us back a little bit now I'm gonna pull it back a little bit and I'm gonna pop, drop it in in through this hole all the way through so um, it's right here you can see it it goes all the way through basically all you got to do is we're chalking it like you would chalk a tire on a car. Uh, pull the string off, and this is how you would put in a peep sight or uh, potentially add a twist in your string or get your bow back in correct spec uh, because of stretch. If you think your bow's gotten a little noisy or a little vibration, check the axle to axle. Uh, you can get on our website, drapesarchery.com. It's under our product. You'll be able to get into probably under the string section and have all the Matthews bows, the specs, axle to axle, uh, brace height, so on and so forth. Axle to axle is measured from this pin to this pin. So it's important to keep those in. And of course, that is checked that uh, the limbs completely crank down. And okay, now I am running uh, Matthews Zebra hybrid strings. I've had really great luck with them. Uh, they're premium. Matthews genuine premium strings are a little bit better of course they're a little bit more money but this is a used bow that we brought in so I'm not going to put a $130, $140 set of strings on it I'm going to put on they're a little bit less expensive and um, take it from there so wrap the string around wrap it around okay string goes behind I'll try to keep it where you guys can see this maybe moving a little bit fast okay turn it around here where you can see I just want this to keep from looking confusing to you guys here and the string hooks right here it needs to go around and under and there's one that says S make sure that it's completely around the loop around the track 
While I'm here, I'm going to get the other string around the track. Okay, run it around the either wheel. At this point in time, we can put in the peep sight. We can uh, pretty much do whatever we want. Now, you don't need any more assistance at this point. Just keep some tension on it. Make sure everything's completely on the post, completely on the track, and let gravity work itself. Pretty much the bow's restrung. Now this is our peephole that tells us uh, the cam positioning. You want that string to go right through the middle of that. If, you're, if your cam is not already going through that on your Matthews bow, you probably need to put some twists in the string or the cable. And I'll real quick, I'll show you how to fix that. And I could do another video on that a little bit more extensively. I'm going to crank this thing down. Max it out. We just traded it in yesterday. Bow will probably go online. We do take a lot of trade ins, get a lot of used bows in here. And uh, so, if you're looking for a good used Matthews bow, give us a call. I put them all in the spec. I make sure they're right. I make sure the cams are straight. There's not a bad limb or anything on them. They're well inspected and thoroughly gone through. Okay, so now we're maxed out. Uh, you'll be able to get on a chart, and the Z7 is axle axle 30 inches. So Get my fancy tape measure out here. We're exactly 30 inches right at it. So basically all I need now is to get that bubble, that cable right in the middle. So you can see the cables up higher, higher than the thing. So what I need is if you pull on this string a little bit, it gets further away. Okay, so we don't need the string any shorter. What I really need is the cable a little bit shorter. If I pull down on the cable, you can see it it pulls it more into the window so that's fine that's simple boom drop it back through that hole as you can maybe see there where it is um, put a couple twists in it you, and you just gotta look at the string to see which way you're twisting it tighter or looser I'd always recommend putting twist in instead of taking twist out because if anything, this bow's gonna stretch a little bit for 30 inches today. Axle, axle, we may be at 30 and an eighth or something tomorrow. Pull real close. Now, if you don't have enough play in there, you're not getting enough play, then you may need to put a bigger, fatter wrench in there. Because you can only put so many twists in this thing and then all of a sudden you run out of room. The only thing I haven't done is check the the lean in the top either wheel. And and I'll get it close here, but truly to get it perfect or where it needs to be, I'd recommend paper tuning it and uh, getting your rest squared up. Grab my little bit heavier poker here. Okay, got it on there. Now you can see that that cable's running right through the middle of that hole, which is good. Recheck our axle to axle. Exactly 30 inches. Good. That don't have to be exact. Um, okay, bow's restrung. Look at the either wheel. It looks pretty straight. Either wheel's good. Now, if the either wheel was leaning one way or the other, we can put some twist in one side or the other and tilt it. Now, if I go back there and I'm shooting paper and I'm getting consistent tail left, I'll probably put a couple twists in this left either wheel. Put a little bit of lean into it and then it helps straighten out the bolt hole uh, so basically that's it we restrung a bow no bow press you can order your string straight from drake's archery you can get the zebra premium the zebra hybrid and while you're ordering your strings guys make sure you order one of my comfort kiss kisser buttons it is 
ergonomic kisser button. It's got a nice curve on it, so when it leaves your mouth, it don't rip it. It's got a patented, a design patent on it. Uh, throw that in the shopping cart as well. We got D-loop material. If you need a new down cable to tie your aero rest on, which I would not recommend putting them through the cable in case you do got to put some twist in it, I would tie a D-loop knot around it, just as such. Bam. Then if we got to put some twist. The reason I like doing that, you got to put some twists in the cable to get your axle axle. This knot to just rotate on there. Of course, it needs to be pulled tight with a pair of pliers. But uh, kisser button D loop. You can run the peep in there again. Have it pulled back a little bit. Put the chalk in it. Make sure when you put your peep in on any of these strings that you split the red and the brown exactly. If you're getting peep rotation on your current string, and if you look at it and half the red or and half the brown they're mixed, that's part of the problem. These. Matthew strings, zebra strings are balanced and uh, some of the strands are clockwise, the other ones are counterclockwise and then they twist them together so that you don't get peep rotation. So it's very important to keep those two colors separated. Uh, got any questions or problems, give us a call. We appreciate your guys' support. Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com and don't forget to look at the Comfort Kiss Kisser button available in nine different colors. Thank you.